Hello everyone, I'm your Lata Kage from CUC Department of BAT Down Gear. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create a thesis a defensive presentation. Well, more than 33% adults in the USA have completed a bachelor's degree, just under only 10% got achieved the master's in their chosen field. So if you have made it this so far, congratulations. The thing here is most students that are graduated in the post-graduation levels are required to deliver the thesis defense presentation before their course inside. So this can be an incredible challenging stage of your studies. A thesis defense time demands the time, commitment, and also effort. But it is not just what you present that matters. It is job you are presented to. And a great presentation design is a crucial, but today I'm here to help you to get started. So are you ready for your upcoming thesis presentation? Yes, let's get started here with the some step to keep in mind that to before going to create your presentation. So these are the seven steps. First one is define your signature idea. Second one is know your audience. Third one is keep each slide focus on one point. Fourth one is less is more. Fifth one is carefully consider your typography. Sixth one is dial down your data. And the last one is consistency is it. Okay, let's take up with a one by one in the next slide. The first one is define your signature idea. Your thesis as a focus, a goal, and a core concept. The thing should be incorporated into your thesis defensive presentation design in every respect side. So a strong design will help you to engage the committee and also reinforce your experts of understanding of your research area. Means if your design is in a strong way, means it helps the it helps it helps to engage the committee. And also, experts have uh, understanding of your research area. And, uh, and also, the aim here is don't leave the visual until the text is complete. Means, you know, whatever the images you are putting in your presentation, so don't uh, visual until, uh, uh, don't leave uh, until the, your uh, text is complete. Okay? And build the different aspects of presentation together to keep in a point. Means, if you are using a different features of presentation, means, then it help you to uh, keep your audience in a coherent manner. The think about a message you want to implicitly deliver. Means before going to your presentation, you have to think that whatever the image, whatever the messages I want to convey to the uh, convey to the audience. Okay. For example, if you are choosing a field in a sociology and you are presenting it a paper at a risk and a vulnerable community, uh, you don't want the visual design of your presentation to come off to a informal, right? So similarly, if you want your audience to understand and the gravity of your finding so far, make sure that you are using a clear, uh, clear typeface and also bold and highlight the keys. Okay, means um, uh, let us consider my slides here itself. I'm using some highlighted points, right? So if you do that, so then it will help the audience to understand easy. Okay, and also before uh, and uh, then. Then, uh, to make sure that you are in a good track of your presentation, you have to ask me the three questions. First one is, does every image convey and support the text accompanying it? And whatever the images you are uh, putting in your presentation, is that uh, images are convey and support the text, whatever accompanying it? And also, do the colors and the font give the presentation a professional finish, means whatever the color and the font you are going to use in your presentation is that a represent a professional finish of your presentations or not? We are going to see. Me and also each slide is uh, uh, clear or free of clusters and also easy to understand at a first glance. If you get a three answer for these three questions, means then you are in a good track of your presentation. So this is what design your signature idea. The next one is know your audience. Means. Your thesis defensive presentation will be delivered to you in a formal in, in formal environment, and they want to see you have a developed in depth of understanding of your graduated program and also uh, build a thesis on a solid foundation. Means uh, if you are presented uh, in a formal environment and they are going to see in see you with a depth of understanding of your program, whatever the uh, program you are conducted in a graduation. And also, uh, your thesis is in a solid foundation or not, they are going to see. And a good presentation leaves the committee with a no doubt. Uh, uh, that means you are ready for the next steps of your presentation journey. 
and uh, currently uh, slides one other suggest that you are too lazy to invest the time to good thesis defense demands are not capable of success means committee may assumes that you don't have uh, take a program or any work or a future serious so uh, don't give a chance for that okay this is what know your audience and the third one is keep each slide focus on one point means you have a lot of point to cover in your thesis right and also you have a spend of year to study and building a knowledge in your chosen subject but uh, you don't have a hours for a thesis uh, defensive presentation so that's why you need to balance your information carefully means you don't have a too much time to present your presentation okay so in that only you want the important point of your presentation you have to present to a uh, um, audience okay so uh, you have to carefully consider that information okay uh, to careful consider to avoid eating of your committee uh, with the too much ask you so chances are they have seen more than enough presentation overloaded with the data or details okay and keep each slide focus on one point and also con condensing idea is tough especially when you are discussing a complex issue and uh, take your presentation one slide at a time to ensure that audience can follow your argument clearly means what i'm going to convey here is first one is you don't have much time to present your presentation and also keep each slide focus on one point and also um, take your presentations at a one, one slides at a time okay don't use a too much presentation too much slides in the same time okay uh, this is what uh, keep each slide focus on one point the next one is less is more means your audience should listen much more than they read right Uh, so you might uh, be try to fill each slides uh, as much as illuminating information as possible but too much text can be not likable why because um, your committee doesn't want to read a black after black of words they want to hear you argue your points with a passion and authenticity and also if you want to really want to demonstrate your depth and the breadth of your uh, expertise means then keep each slides in a simple way okay and you use just enough text to convey the meaning of your discussion okay so uh, these are the three point with the less is more okay and uh, next one is carefully consider your typography once you have chosen a right words and your cut out text must look right to uh, deliver to a maximum impact okay and the first and foremost thing here is your text should be easy to read and don't force the committee members to deviate from across the room or the worst case is don't ask the what is that word in your slide okay that is a worst case and also choose a color which contract with each other as well and also text which seems to interest in the page okay and also understanding the room size shape and also lighting will help you to create a most appropriate design okay uh, so these are the four points with the carefully consider your typography and dial down your data what actually it is mean it's a natural to have some facts and figure to your thesis presentation but uh, support data supports your argument and also shows the spend to time a time to conducting researches means if you are putting a um, you imagine this new slide means um, it will going to represent that you are spending a lot of time with the research in that particular topic okay and the research shows a visual can improve the brain's ability to learn as much as 400% to stimulate the imagination and, and also increase the speed at which the information is proceeded and if you incorporating the dynamic dynamic pictures that help you to convey the meaning behind of your data and uh, means uh, that means if you are um, putting a dynamic pictures in your uh, slides means um, then audience can understand uh, behind of your data what you are saying so you can and also you enhance the committee ability to digest it more quickly means they are going to uh, increase their understanding uh, more quickly the next one is consistency this is the final steps and also uh, of exactly your slide formality really okay um, and uh, the design has to be consistency as a content and uh, don't switch a color or a scheme or a layout dramatically from one slide to another settle on to one overall template uh, and stick on to it like that uh, in the images you can see here and uh, otherwise the sudden shift styles could distract the committee and leave them struggles to grasp the thread of your argument once again okay 
So this is the final step uh, to keep in mind to create your presentation. And uh, now you are in the last stage of my presentation. I think now you are ready to go to give your best presentation. And also uh, creating impressive presentation uh, takes a time, but follow the steps what I told before in the previous slides and to pay attention even most minor aspects of your designs and your committee want to see you take a CCC seriously. So don't give them any reason to doubt you, okay? I think um, this video help you to create and also uh, give a best presentation, okay? So thank you everyone.